Hey everybody, Mark the Flick and Fellers again today. I'm going to another salmon flag. Uh, modern, absolute modern classic, it's the Ali Shrimp. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to social media for Flicking Feathers, the Patreon page for anybody that would like to support the channel and get eligibility for the giveaways and have access to the members only content, and the Amazon links if you would prefer to support the channel in that way, that's also very very appreciated. So I've got my hook in my vice, I'm tying a double. Just got to run on some thread. Come down to just about the point in line with the point of the hook. Take away my waist. Put a tag of small Oh, silver tinsel. Take this down. And come up between the hooks. Knock that off. the length of the body <coughs> tail, which is bucktail using fluorescent orange I've got to keep it quite sparse um, it's a really it's a good bucktail, it's a shame to use it for such a small fly but Tail length, I'm looking at like two hook lengths at the back, so maybe something like that. Catch that in, and then a wee bit of sparkle, I'll just take a, some orange crystal flash here. Two strands, or one strand, and fold it over the thread. Sorry, and that just gives me two in the tail. And then I'll just trim them, same length as the bucktail. Trim away my waist. Rib is just the same as a tag. Small. Oh, silver. And then the body is two parts. The rear part is, I'm using glow bright orange floss, but you can use whatever orange floss you like. Double this over the thread and catch it in, and I'll take my thread forward halfway. And I'll wind these, creating a nice even body. Come 
the thread, catch it off. Some your waist, the same length as everything else. Tidy up, <coughs> then black. Wind that up just the same. Three thumbs is plenty. Lock that in. Trim away your waist. I've left myself quite a nice, quite a big space here at the front. By the time I tie off my rib, I've got the squirrel tail, uh, the, the tippet wing, and then a hackle, so you need plenty of room. So the rib, I'm going to take a full turn at the back. And then come up four or five turns is plenty. Full turn at the front. Tie off. The Next thing to tie in is some squirrel tail. wax the thread before I tie the squirrel in. Because you do need plenty of grip. The squirrel's uh, very slick. We take a reasonable bunch. Um, because remember, with this you're not going to tie it like um, a wing. It's going to be sort of veiled around the, around the fly, so... Although it looks like it's too much for a wing, once it's spread it's actually not that heavy. Now some people like to stack it, I, I don't. I don't, like, I don't like it too even. But lengthwise, I'm going to come to the back of the hook. Right, um, something like that, and you can see it's a wee bit uneven. It'll give you when it's when it's rotated round. It'll give a nice um, kind of uneven edge, kind of natural looking. So I'm just got to use the thread to just sort of push the fibres around. You can help them if you want, if you need to. Sometimes in the double they don't roll as well as you do in a treble or a, or on a single hook. Just get a check. If you're happy you can tighten up. It's not bad. The wax gives you plenty of plenty of grip here because um, the squirrel is very very slick. Just make sure you get everything out of the way. Now. Tidy all that up. And for a bit of added strength, I'm just going to take a small amount of super glue. I've got about an inch of thread there, that'll give you two or three wraps. I'm going to come into these cut ends just to help. Uh, let's secure the squirrel. It'll never ever pull it. Wing is a golden pheasant. 
it's just a, a natural and dyed. You can use, and I sometimes do use like a, a dyed orange or a dyed red. Um, it can be quite a nice effect, but I'm just going to stick with the, the natural here. I'm just going to prepare the feather, take away what I don't need. Still not going to be that much. And I'm going to roll it. Right, and that sort of tip pulls everything together. I'll offer it on so that the the backs are just coming to the end of the tag, more or less. And I'm just pinch and loop it in. A couple of wraps to secure. Just sort of crease it a wee bit to help it lie lie flat. Tighten that up with a couple of wraps. I'll come in and trim away my waist. I'll tidy everything up. Now you should, hopefully you can see, I've still got a nice gap here. I've got room for my hackle and a gap. Um, just before the eye. Just size that hackle. That's fine. Hackle, I'm just using Chinese cock. You could use hen if you want. Um, I mean, in an ideal world, you would have some tied with cock hackle and some tied with hen hackle for different sort of. water speeds but we're not going to do that nobody's going to do that really are they so I'm just doubling the hackle as I go just fold the fibres back then just wind forward nice tight wraps tight in front of each other and it's up to you how dense this is um, Depends on the quality of the hackle, how many turns, but that's it's about three and a half with this. And I think that's just enough. And I've went for a quite quite a long hackle, you can see there. But the fibres when they go back, they're sort of coming into the they're mixing into the wing a wee bit. Which I like. And then I'm just going to fold everything back. and form a nice wee head keep your thread tight, you can just break that away I'm just going to roll the hackle in my fingers just to sort of untwist any fibres there I've trapped a bit of fluff or something on my thread there, there you go just make sure it's nice and clean Build a nice wee head up. And then we can come in with a whip finish. Oops. There we go. Nice and tight. Not going anywhere. And as always, to finish it off, got a wee bit of super glue on the thread. Don't touch your hackle. This just seals everything. And then when that's dry, you can come in with your varnish and gives you a nice hard shiny head so there you go Ali shrimp quite a simple pattern to tie really 
Um, sort of, maybe it's a wee bit less popular nowadays, but it's um, still a very, a very effective salmon fly. So, uh, hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to give me a thumbs up below and uh, subscribe to the channel. Take lines, guys. Bye.